Hello, my name is Greg Verutis with Blue Forest Conservation, and I will be highlighting two sections of the Sierra Nevada Watershed Assessment Scorecard during this brief demo. First, the Map Explorer, which is designed to do just that, explore the analytical results we've assembled from different agencies and organizations. The splash screen helps to orient users to the different sections of the Explorer. By default, you will see the water supply opportunity, a metric to show the potential to enhance water supply with forest restoration. This is a huge priority because California gets so much water from these sources, and there's potential to motivate investment with additional water supply. Also shown in the legend is the fire risk potential to highlight the risk of forested watersheds becoming degraded from a large catastrophic wildfire. Fire is often the biggest single threat to these ecosystems and communities of the Sierra. By selecting the swiper widget, one can see where there's an agreement or not between the highest area of water supply opportunity and fire risk at the subwatershed level. Sometimes we see a strong relationship between fire and water, as in the case of the Consumnes River. Other times we do not, and this makes sense because of different watershed features, such as elevation and the amount of precipitation. Moving on to the layer list, if we zoom into the Yuba Basin, and turn on the land forest ownership layer, we get a sense for the distribution of public and private forested lands, as shown in the yellow and green pixels. And this has implications for conservation and management. Also, we can explore in greater detail why fire risk potential is relatively high throughout the western portion of the Yuba Basin. The wildfire hazard potential layer shows these results at the pixel scale. As indicated in certain areas, we can see in dark red the highest hazard potential. Further, the suppression difficulty index highlights that a fire in the Downey River and the upper North Yuba River basin would be a challenge to extinguish. Notably, the upper North Yuba River is a subwatershed where activities financed by the Yuba One FRB are located. As a note, all metadata and links to download these data can be found under the info button here, as well as on the data tab above. Now let's move south of the Yuba Basin to the American River watershed, where we can take a deep dive into one of our 13 scorecards. The left panel provides an orientation of the watershed as it relates to water supply and fire risk. The map highlights restoration opportunities, especially for public forests shown in yellow. Also, we can use the bar charts on the right to home in on subwatersheds with the largest area of forested acres with water supply opportunity or wildfire risk. Here I'm going to select Rock Creek because it scores high on fire risk potential and water supply opportunity relative to its size. And as we click on it, we can see it highlighted in the map. Once again, we can turn on the wildfire hazard potential index and the fire suppression difficulty index to pinpoint areas within the subwatershed that may be good candidates for restoration and other management activities. Please reach out if you have any questions or would like to learn more about our work at connect at blueforest.org.